president well, speaking in the Rose Garden a short time ago said that shutting down the government, in his words, is not worthy of this country. Is it also not worthy, unworthy of Republicans to introduce government by extortion, which is what they've proposed in every bill that was tabled yesterday? Well, a a absolutely. That's exactly what they did. Now, I was actually uh, laughing. I'm not sure I should be crying at the notion of Speaker Cruz, but I do think that that's what you have. You have the Republican caucus in such disarray that they're willing to follow anybody. And so the notion that we would pass parts of government that they happen to like in a piecemeal fashion, you know, we have women and children with the WIC program who are not going to get food now. This is a very serious situation, and they are making light of it by trying to say we're going to now pass piecemeal bits of the budget. This is unacceptable. They also tried to do the same thing with the sequester, if you remember. I, I remember that very well, ma'am. It seems to be consistent for them. Uh, if it's Meals on Wheels, or if it's a program involving food stamps, or if it's anything to do with the poor, that's fine. You can literally cast them aside without any consideration. Yeah, but, but you know, though, it is consistent with their ideology, and that's what I think is always so important. When we have these skirmishes like this, it's really important to look a little bit deeper as to why this is happening. The Tea Party, when they came here to Congress, they came essentially to blow up government because they don't believe that we should have a safety net in our country, which is why they only go after parts of the government and other parts they like. But you know what? You can't have it both ways. You said you wanted to shut the government down, you shut the government down. Until the speaker is willing to be a speaker and put the Senate bill on the floor and let it pass, and I do believe it would pass within 10 minutes, I think putting this piecemeal uh, strategy in place is absolutely ridiculous. To your point, reporters quoting their sources on the Hill variously estimate it's really only about 30 Republicans who are currently on this crusade. That begs the right. question, how is it possible that 30 Republicans have more control of their party than the other roughly 200 Republicans. Well, I, I think from the beginning, the Speaker has refused to lead. He's allowed a faction of his caucus to really rule the day. And then you also have the outside forces. You have Speaker Rush Limbaugh. You have the Speaker from the Heritage Foundation. You have all of these different entities that are pressuring the Speaker to essentially allow a tiny faction to rule the day. And it's just a, a testament to his uh, inability to lead. It's very sad. Representative it's hurting the country. Representative Karen Bass, thank you, and thank you, and I share your laughter at the idea that Ted Cruz is, in fact, the Speaker of the House. Thank you so Terrifying. much. Terrifying. <laughs> Terrifying, okay. but true. Thank you.